What's up, guys? My first ever Hammond enclosure box mod. Um, still not sure what I think about the Hammond box, but um, it seems to be working all right. Uh, it's pretty rigid. Um, a lot more solid than I expected. I really expected it to be a lot flimsier. Um, this was a hand-me-down box that I got from uh, a fellow modder locally. Um, it had already been drilled for a hole, and I used that as a through hole. If you'll look, my finger actually goes inside. There's my firing button. It is a mechanical switch. Um, this also did not have any screws, so I put some... Uh, what size are they? I drilled and tapped it out. Put some 832 screws in there. Just two of them. Not like I gotta get in it all the time anyways. This is my first day testing this LiPo. And it is the little one I was showing you guys the other night. Um, I actually got the, uh, MOSFET and everything for it, got it all wired up, and, uh, didn't really look through the spec sheet too well on the MOSFET, and discovered that optimal gate voltage is between 10 and, I think it's 10 and 20 volts, is a lot higher than standard, um, though it is also a lot larger MOSFET than standard as well. So, needless to say, at 4.2 volts, it's completely worthless. Um, for those of you who haven't seen the other videos, this LiPo is 6.4 amp hours, 6,400 milliamp hours. It is 90 C. It is uh, rated at 576 amps continuous discharge. Um, it seems completely ridiculous. Um, I've questioned it, but I have looked into the uh, test data on it. And at 100% discharge rate, at the total 90C discharge, which is 576 amps, on their test sheets or test data sheets, it shows 90% voltage uh, from a full charge. That is optimal from a fresh charge on it. So <clears throat> it ought to be able to handle anything we can put to it, or I can put to it. I actually, I wind electric motors for a living, so I have access to all kinds of crap, and the switch that I used, I don't know if you'll be able to see it very well, is actually part of a centripetal switch out of a single phase motor. It is silver plated contacts um, on, I don't know what the spring material is, but Regardless, it works extremely well. Um, voltage drop across them is minimal at best. They're designed to operate 230 to 460 volts AC, um, upwards of 25 to 30 amps. So, massive wattage in those switches. There's nothing I can put through it that fuck it up. But anyways, I've just got it basic wired, positive from the LiPo, straight to 510 positive, negative, straight through the switch to the ground. <clears throat> it is uh, very simple, very easy, and this LiPo is kicking ass. Um, the build I've got on here is actually a uh, failed alien attempt. I've never attempted to build alien wire before that. I tried it a few days ago and failed miserably. Rather than the wires laying in nice and neat next to each other, they uh, laid out side by side or... Uh, <clears throat> The bins, the loops, and the wire were against each other, so it loops away rather than towards itself. But it's uh, two 22 gauge Nichrome 80 cores and a 28 gauge Canthal on the Clapton. Four wraps on a 1 8 bit. Um, it checked out with my meter at 0 0.04 ohms. And including the massive amount of voltage drop that I get through this stupid ass stainless steel deck, um, still pushing 270 watts. So, it is chucking. 
It's very cool 270 watts. It's not like vaping 270 watts at 12 volts. And it does take a second to get there. That's taking a little bit to get used to it. But let's vape it. Fantastic. Just to give you guys an idea how well this uh, little mechanical switch works, um, the only thing between the contact and my finger is a very thin piece of heat shrink tubing where I wrapped it over to keep it from shorting out. And um, it doesn't transfer any heat and it's pulling like, I don't remember exactly, it's like 60 amps or something like that. <clears throat> And it's dominating. I'm thoroughly impressed. Can't wait to uh, get one of my Maximus RDAs built with 510 threads again so I can actually use it on this. Um, I'm going to have to get some 16 gauge nichrome and test it out. Vape on, guys.